What's up, people? So, I've been doing these videos for about nine months or so now, and I still have no idea what I'm doing. That's not totally true, but I would like to reflect a little bit on the successes and failures and share a little bit of what I'm thinking about doing in the future with this channel. I want to look into the past, look into the future, and kind of figure out what the hell I'm doing here. So, as I laid out in my very first video, I had some initial intentions going into this thing. I wanted to take the opportunity to share all of the things that have inspired me, but I also wanted to create more art of my own, start more projects, finish more things, and share that process with you along the way. Ultimately, I hope to inspire people and also to find inspiration myself and let this process unfold and take me in new directions that I hadn't even considered in the beginning. I also honestly wanted to build a platform out of this with hopes of having a different career in the future. Not working towards other people's ends all the time, and doing some things that I personally find more fulfilling. Like sharing my experiences and perspectives, and hopefully inspiring and lifting some people up along the way. I knew up front a couple things I didn't want to do. I didn't want to be another tutorial channel. I think I'd probably do pretty well sharing step by step. I know how to do a lot of things. But that's been done. It's out there. I also didn't want to be just another inspiration channel that leaves you with good feelings but no action plan. My intention was to share the why, the reason behind a lot of these creative endeavors that we take on. And also to take on some of my own projects and take you along the way. So what have I learned so far? Well, I've learned that this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. The progress has been much slower than I anticipated, and I've stood in my own way a little more than I thought I would. Along the way, though, I have come up with a more clear vision of the future of this project and my personal future. I feel like the content that I've been creating is useful to somebody. But one thing that I've learned is that the hardest part is actually finding those people it's going to mean something to. So let's get some of the failures out of the way. The first one has been growth. Now it's been steady and it's been meaningful, but I wouldn't say I've grown as fast as I thought I would coming up on almost a year now. I've also failed at consistency. Earlier on, if you've been watching my videos, I said I wanted to get one video out a week, or at least 52 by the end of the year. I made a public commitment to go back to that, and there's just no way looking at the rest of the year. I'm just gonna have to let that one go. You can't win them all. And monetization has been a failure for me. I haven't really figured out how I want to do that. I've been so focused on the type of content that I want to create and the position that I want to fill here that I haven't really taken any steps towards turning this into a lucrative career that can potentially replace the need for a day job. And so I've been getting by on freelancing on the side in addition to these videos, but this is really what I want to pursue in my life. This is the thing that gets me excited. This is where I feel like I have the most to offer, and I'm hoping that I'm doing the right thing by not focusing on money in the beginning. But that word leads me to another failure, focus. In the background, I feel like I've got a little bit of focus. I have an idea of what kind of videos do and don't fit into what I'm trying to do here. And I definitely don't want to get too focused and really pigeonhole at this point. There are a lot of creative fields that I'm really into and excited about and so I just kind of want to share anything that touches the topic of creativity. But I haven't really defined a clear mission or goals for this thing. And those are the small failures, but let's talk about the number one biggest failure in my mind. And that's that I haven't started any new projects or created any art along the way yet. That was the initial goal that kind of excited me the most, and I've done nothing with it so far. But this whole thing certainly hasn't been a failure, so let's talk about the successes too. I have learned a lot along the way. I've learned a lot about video editing and shooting, more about photography and lighting than I knew before. I've especially learned a lot in researching the topics that I wanted to talk about. You see, I usually start with a little kernel of an idea and some musings that I've had in my own head, and then I go read half of the internet and come back with some more solidified thoughts before I share them with you. And that's been really cool. I really dig that. I feel like one of my main goals was to learn something myself and share it with you, and that's exactly what I've been doing. I've also had a really unexpected positive response from the people that I've focused on in some of my more recent videos. It's been really humbling to see some of the photographers that I've been talking about 
reaching back out to me and telling me that they appreciated my view and that maybe even it got them to think about their own work in a different way. I also feel like I've succeeded in that balancing act. I talked in the beginning and earlier in this video about not wanting to just teach tutorials step by step, not just wanting to inspire, but to live somewhere in the middle of those two things. I do feel like I've nailed that mark. At least in my own mind, I've achieved what I've been after there. If there's one thing that I've learned that I've been really excited about, it's that just focusing on the things that I love and sharing what I love about those things has really been enough. I haven't really had to tailor any videos to what I think the audience might want. And all I've really done so far is geeked out about things that I get excited about and things that I've been learning. But I think that's the number one success. While looking at the numbers and the growth and monetization and all of that doesn't really make me want to get out of bed in the morning, what does is I've really got some positive comments from you guys. I've had people tell me this is just what they needed to hear today or they really appreciated the way I look at something. And that alone is the number one driving success that I've had so far. I'm really proud of that. So what does this mean for the future and why am I going into all of this right now? Well, the first thing that I want to do is I want to take a step back and focus back in on my goals. This means revisiting the personal branding videos that I started so long ago, taking a look at those initial values and fleshing them out, seeing if anything's changed over time or if there's anything that I want to change based on my experience so far. I think I've got enough distance on it now that I can look at it again with some fresh eyes and I definitely want to take you along that process. Also from this point forward, I'm dropping any goals that had a number on them. Focusing on the number of subscribers, the views. When I get a little burst of those, it feels good, but otherwise it really just makes me feel like a failure. And I don't think that's true. I think I just haven't found the right audience yet, but I know that they're out there because I, I'm one of them. I make the videos that I would want to see, honestly. So audience numbers, views, any monetary goals, even that 52 videos by the end of the year goal, gone. No more numbers. I can't, I can't do numbers. Numbers just don't feel right. What I'm gonna continue to do that I've been doing is talking about work and ideas and books and whatever that inspires me. If something changed my view, if something touched me, if something made a positive impression on me, you can bet I'm gonna share it with you guys. I love that. But in addition to that, I need to start my own projects. I need to wrap up some of this personal branding stuff just to make this channel a little more presentable maybe, get a little more focus on exactly what all of this is about. But moving forward from that, I've got music projects, photography projects, art projects, video projects, all kinds of things that have been living in the back burner of my mind that I'm ready to get started on. And I think what's really held me back on those particular projects is fear. If I'm just being honest with you, I've been afraid to share my intentions. I've been afraid to talk about myself. I don't like people that talk about themselves. I've kind of been afraid to believe in myself if I'm actually any good at these things. And I've been especially afraid to just say out loud what it is that I really want. These are the fears that have kept me from focusing on my own projects. The same fears I think a lot of creative people go through. Do you feel like maybe you're not good enough? Why should anyone be listening to you? But why is it so scary to say what you really want? For me, it just feels kind of pretentious. It feels very assuming. It feels a little self-aggrandizing or egotistical. And if you watched any of my video on branding to your values and authenticity, you'll know that these things haunt me. I hate these things. I can't stand people that are like that. But I find myself incredibly inspired by people who've gone out there and done something meaningful and especially if they're willing to be transparent enough to share something of themselves and their thoughts and their ideas along the way. So it would be unfair to you and to myself if I didn't start putting myself out there and sharing my own work. So what is it that I really want? I want to lift people up. I want to create work that people respect, that I respect. I want to create things that initiate or jump into the middle of meaningful conversations about life and the world. I want to share my perspectives and my experiences in the world. I want to matter to other people the way that the people that I look up to matter to me. And by that definition, I want to be an artist. But I'm never going to get there if I don't start putting myself out there 
and sharing some of my own work. So thanks for letting me get that off of my chest. I hope this helps someone out there overcome a similar situation of their own and that this is valuable and not just me rambling on. But I really needed to stop and reflect and recommit myself to my goals. And I think someone out there is struggling with the same fear and the same self-doubt. And if there's one piece of advice, just don't be afraid to say what you really want. Don't think that you don't deserve what you really want to do with your life. Don't hold back from sharing what matters to you because you're afraid of the perceptions other people might have about you. And don't even be afraid of your shifting perceptions about yourself. You're only gonna feel better if you go after what matters to you. So don't expect any overnight changes on this channel. It's gonna happen slowly. I'm gonna start introducing some of my own projects, but I'm gonna continue doing videos like I've done in the past. If you are facing some of these things, please reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. You can leave a comment or send me a message. It would just mean a lot to me to know that this video mattered to somebody out there. And maybe together we can learn and grow and get past some of these obstacles that we all set up for ourselves. Thanks as always for hanging out with me, you guys. Till next time, peace.